GPT, which is uh, based on GPT-4 from OpenAI, which right. is a company that I uh, played a, a, a critical role in, in creating, unfortunately. Uh, Back when it was a nonprofit? <sighs> yes. Um, I mean, the, 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 the reason uh, OpenAI exists at all is that um, Larry Page and I used to be close friends, and I would yes. stay at his house in Palo Alto, and I would talk to him late into the night about uh, AI safety. And at least my perception was that Larry was not taking uh, AI safety uh, seriously enough. Um, and um, What did he say about it? He really seemed to be um, one, one, one sort of a digital super intelligence, basically digital god, if you will, uh, uh, as soon as possible. Um, he wanted that? Yes. He's, he's made many public statements over the years uh, that, that the whole goal of Google is uh, uh, what's called AGI, artificial general intelligence or artificial superintelligence. You know, and, I, and I agree with him that the, there's great potential for good, um, but there's also potential for bad. And so if, if you've got some um, radical new technology, you want to try to take a set of actions that maximize probably it, it will do good and minimize probably it will do bad things. Yes. Um, it, it can't just be health leather. Let's just go, you know, barreling forward and, you know, hope for the best. And then at one point, uh, I said, well, what about, you know, we've got to make sure humanity's okay here. Um, <laughs> and, 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 um, uh, and then he called me a speciest. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> did, he use, did he use that term? Yes. And there were witnesses. I wasn't the only one there when he called me a speciest. And so... I was like, okay, that's it. Uh, I've, yes, I'm a speciest, okay? You got me. <laughs> what are you? <laughs> yeah, I'm fully a speciest. Um, busted. Um, so um, that was the last straw. At the time, uh, Google uh, had acquired DeepMind, and so Google and DeepMind together had about three quarters of all the uh, AI talent in the world. They obviously had a tremendous amount of money and uh, more computers than anyone else. So I'm like, okay, we're, we have a unipolar world here where there's just one, one company that has close to a monopoly on uh, AI talent and, uh, and, and computers, uh, like so scaled computing. And the person who's in, in charge doesn't seem to care about safety. This is not good. So, uh, so then I thought, what's, what's the, the furthest thing from Google would be like a nonprofit uh, yeah. that is fully open, because Google was closed uh, for profit. So that's why the open and open AI refers to open source, uh, you know, transparency, so people know what's going on. Yes. And that it, it, we don't want to have like a, a, I mean, while I'm normally in favor of for profit, we don't want this to be sort of a profit maximizing of demon course. from hell. That's you know? right. <laughs> that just never stops. Right. <laughs> so that, that's how open AI was. Would, would, so you want specious incentives here? Incentives that yes, like, I think we want humanity. we want pro-human. Yeah, let's make the future good for the humans. Yes. Yeah. There you go. OpenAI was hijacked by the competitors of Google, Microsoft. This big war is playing out, and. We're in the middle of it. Really interesting stuff that was just said by um, Elon.